done. We're working really, really hard. So we take you know, 10, 12 minutes at the end of the workout to talk about things that I think are important. And uh, I hope you do too. Okay, first, Steve. Steve. He's ain't got Steve on my way. He's all in. Daniel. Nick. All right, here's the thing. Things that I feel are important. Okay? If, if, if this guy over here can wrestle, he did wrestle. I know wrestling's done a lot of fun, but take wrestling out of the picture. Take everything out of the picture. Okay, I'll tell you what you got here. You got a good student who works hard. Okay? You got a guy that deals with adversity. Okay? Deals with adversity and, and comes back strong. When he was a junior in high school, the week before the, the week, the week of the district tournament, he broke his wrist. His, his hand. Our trainer did whatever she could do. We went to a doctor. The doctor said, You're crazy, but I won't. He goes, I'll release him. There's no way you can wrestle. He went, tried to wrestle, and it didn't, it just didn't happen. So he didn't, he didn't get out of district because of an injury. His senior year, he won state. Okay. A lot of guys, you know, it was his freshman sophomore year, he sick of the state tournament. You know, it's a great time of the year to get sick. He gets sick. So, going into the senior year, he had a place at state. He was a junior high state champ, which in Ohio is a pretty big deal. So, you know, he was dealing with a lot of things. He was strong for it. He got stronger, it didn't all him down. Okay? He's a super person. Okay? He lives right. He lives like. Without rust, he didn't have any rust. He'd be a super person who's good in school because he works hard, okay? And he does everything he says he's going to do. If this guy says he's going to do something, he does it. Integrity. He's got it, okay? I'm, I'm, he's, they're all going to stand up here because they've got, they got all these things in common, all right? This guy, right here. Take away all his medals, all his championships, all his trophies, everything, okay? If he says he's going to be somewhere, he's there. Okay? When we were doing workouts, all these guys had this in common. We were doing workouts. If I couldn't come out here to train them, they would drive to me. Rain, sleep, snow, whatever. All right? Because they said they were going to come. Because they said they were coming to a workout, they were there. Okay? He, uh, he did Monday morning to Monday. Wrestling, wrestling is his favorite thing to do in his life. It's his favorite thing. Right? It's my week off. This is his week off, right here. All right? But Monday morning, his mother needed him to drive her to the airport. So he says, Coach, can't make it Monday morning. I'll see you, I'll see you after. I'm going to stay home Sunday night. I'm going to hang out with my mom. I'm going to hang out with my mom. She's leaving. She's going on vacation. I'm going to hang out with my mom. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow when I see her. Okay? Remember that. This guy right here. He's 20 years old. Treats his mom right. All right? Huge. As good a wrestler as he is, he's a better person. I don't know. Does he quake? Great person. Great person. Accolades. Championships. Right? This guy right here. Okay? Mitchell. Steve. Four times state place. Okay? You know what, you know what my, a couple of my buddies said about Stevie? The way they described him. Two, two guys said this about Stevie. Every day is Christmas. Never a bad day. That's, that's how he is, right here. Okay? Always kind of bouncing around. Things don't always go his way. He was a state champ. The next year, he's in the state semifinals against a guy. It was a crazy call. I'm not going to say it was a bad call. Stevie knows what I think about it. Okay? Crazy call. Loses a match. As a coach, I wanted to throw a chair. I wanted to yell at the ref. I want to kick things. I want to knock things over. I can only imagine what he wanted to do. I can only imagine what he wanted to do on the match. You know what he did? This is what he did. Good match. Came over, came by me, went outside, was bummed out. You know, went out in the hall, was bummed out. Didn't display. Didn't go crazy. Didn't flip anybody off. Didn't kick anything. I don't know. Probably wanted to. Did you want to? Yep. Okay, but. He has too much self-respect. 
to make himself look like a jerk. He didn't embarrass himself. He didn't embarrass his family. He didn't embarrass his school. He didn't embarrass his coach. All right? He handled it. And, that's the, the, and I, I think I said this about him in our bank. You know, as proud as you can be of somebody for winning a state title, when that doesn't happen and they take it that way, you're, you're even proud as a coach. You're even proud of the way this kid can handle something like that. Okay? He, all right, not, but, you know, good, good, good kid. Good person. All right? Good things don't always happen for good dudes. You know, but it is what it is. You can't look like a man. This guy, two times state runner up. I've known Nick. He started coming to our camps when he was about a sixth grade. I don't know, so fifth grade, sixth grade. Okay? Right? Two time state runner up, twice. He took second state. Senior year, he's looking great. He worked all season long. Okay? When other guys took breaks, we were still going. Nick called me up. Come on, let's go a couple, three days a week. He still kept going, kept going, kept going. He trained with a guy down at Cleveland State, I think. He was training all over the place, training, training, getting ready. Gonna win state his senior year. Okay? Fluke practice accident. What, February? January. January. Fluke accident practice. Breaks his foot. Okay? Can't wrestle. Shows up everywhere. He was friends with guys in, my, in our team. He went to Westlake High School. He was friends with guys on Elyria's team. Okay? I had a kid take second in the state. Guy came out of nowhere. Had never been to state before. Brandon's brother, Cody. Brandon, where's your His brother, Cody Eggman. Takes second in the state. Comes out of nowhere. You know who his biggest fan was other than his parents and his coaches? This guy and his family. You know? Brandon, when, whenever, whenever Cody would, would win a match, either him or his dad would be right there going crazy. There's a guy, I mean, his dreams are crossed. He'd never be a state champion. Showed up in our video. Not, not just supported the Westlake guys. But, but supported guys in his club. That is character. Okay? These are the people I choose to surround myself with. These guys right here. Okay, look. How many of us are? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Add one to that group. Okay? We have six. You look around at the five people you hang out with. The five people you choose to hang out with, that is you. That's who you are. If you hang out with guys that smoke cigarettes and, and drink and party and do drugs and hang out with unsavory chicks or whatever, okay, that is you. Look around at your friends. If there are guys at this, that aren't here that you roll with, okay, that act like idiots, chances are you might be an idiot. Okay? I didn't see any idiots in this room. To be honest with you, I saw a room full of hard-working guys. Nobody talked back to a coach. Not once. Okay? You might be a little bit forgetful. You might not quite realize when somebody wants the clothes picked up by the shopping room. Right? But nobody's bad. Okay? So you need to make sure that you associate yourself with the right kind of people. Alright? My story. <laughs> similar to these guys in a lot of ways, not similar in, in other ways. I didn't always do what I was supposed to do in high school. I didn't get the grades I should have, I should have earned. As a result, I had to go sit out a year of college. While everybody else was wrestling and getting better, I was called Prop 48. I was ineligible. I had to sit out my first year. Put me way behind. I put me way behind. I put me way behind by not listening to people who tried to help me. People like me that are telling you. People like Coach that are telling you, hey, I recommend you do this because I, I'm older and I know better and I've been there. Okay? This guy here, I recommend that you do this because I've been there. Okay? Coach Bush, all these guys, they're in your lives. They're, they're in your lives. Okay? Be, to help you because we've already been there. You, you, need, you need to listen. Right? I didn't. I didn't. So I had to go the hard way. Am I okay now? Sure, I'm all right. Am I better for it? Probably. Am I an NCAA champion? No. No, I'm not. Something that I set out to do didn't happen. I can't get those years back. They're over. Because I didn't always listen. <coughs> okay? It's a big thing. It's not easy. You know, there's all these cliches. What's, what's, what's right isn't always popular. What's popular isn't always right. 
That's a, that's a cliche. You know what? Man, I'll chew it. Okay? You know, when you, when you see guys like, you know, when, when I used to go running, people, my whole town, I lived in a small town, my whole town thought it was nuts. They thought it was crazy. It's, it, it, it was, it was, it's worse now. It's worse now. It isn't cool to be great. It's not cool. The normal kid frowns at the kid that's great. The normal crowd says, what are you doing? You're crazy. What are you going to do with wrestling? Can't you think you're nuts? Wrestling two times a day? What are you crazy? Come on, man, we're going to go on the boat. Come on, man, we're going to go over to the Arby's and hang out in the park. It's going to be awesome. Come on over, dude, we're going to play a card. Right? It's not normal. It's not normal to go running and do things beyond. You're not always looked at as cool. Right? And that's a shame. That's a shame. But I was there. It was like that. It wasn't as bad back in my day, in the back, back in the black and white television days. Right? But I still dealt with it. People say you're nuts. I'm like, you just don't get it. You don't get me. It doesn't make you a bad person. You just don't get me. You don't get what I'm trying to do. very important that you strive and you, you, you stick with people who are trying to be great. Right? I have friends, the guys that I hung out with in high school, they won state. If, they, if it wasn't a wrestler, our high school team won state in basketball. You think I hung out with basketball players? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. We had, we had one thing in common. Well, we had a couple things. We liked the same music, we liked whatever. But we had goals. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a rust to hang out. It could be somebody who's, who's aspiring to be the best piano player in Ohio, the best trumpet player, the best whatever. Somebody who's striving to do something good. And that goes back to the five people you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with bums, you will be a bum. That's the way, that's the way it's going to be. <coughs> All right? And when I started to make a transformation in college, when I went from being an also ran, from people passing me up, when I decided to start hanging out with Kurt Angle instead of maybe hanging out with this guy or this girl, <coughs> things got better. Kurt Angle was trying to be an NCAA champion. Kurt Angle said, come on, let's go, man. Come on. We're going to go lift weights. Okay? No, no, no. You don't need to go over there. Come with me. Come on. We're going to go to a study table. Man. I started to do it. Things got better. It's all in who you choose to surround yourself with. It's all in who you choose to believe in. Your coaches believe in you. Your parents believe in you. I think, <coughs> but I think sometimes you take it for granted. I think sometimes that same voice saying it over and over again is like blah, 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 blah. And it can't be blah, blah, blah. It can't be. You got, you, you got to listen. You got to take it in. Okay? It comes back to being incredible. It comes back to integrity. Okay? Table full of shirts out there. Okay? How many times you walk by those shirts? In that room? How many times you walk by those shirts? You know the shirts I'm talking about? The blue ones, the red ones? Who grabbed a shirt? Who grabbed a shirt, took it, put it in the back? You didn't pay for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude! So my shirt. Nobody. Guys, I don't have to lock this stuff up. You understand what I'm saying? We've had camps now. This is the 13th or 14th year we've had camps. I don't have to lock stuff up. You know how cool that is? Huh? That's cool. I can park my truck out here and not lock the doors and leave my wallet in. Okay? You can stay away from that. Okay? That, that's good. That's a tribute to you. That's how you are. That's how you are. You don't rip anybody off. You don't steal things. Okay? You know what? Be that way when you're not in the room. Be that way in general. And if people around you are doing things like that, stay away from them. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? All right. I, I want to I wanna thank our staff. Look, guys, you got to understand something. Yeah. He's a, he 
has Olympic aspirations. There's no secret about that. Okay, and he's going to keep working towards it. He's fourth in the uh, fourth in the world team trials in freestyle in the open, in the open division. Okay, so you watch for him. He's only wrestled eight college matches so far. He's just getting started. Right? This guy's got two more years of college at Kent State. He's Ohio State. He's at Kent State. Okay, he's got two more years. Right? Watch for him. Watch what he does. Four time state placer, state champion in Ohio. Watch what he watch for. Him. Okay. This guy, he's got four more years at Purdue. You mentioned him. He's got four more years at Purdue. Pretty good school. Right? Watch for him. Watch what he does. Nick Lawrence. Okay? Danny Mitchell. Okay? He's out of college, got a college degree. Okay? Oh my goodness, you literally are you? Come to me. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Are you a Leary guy? Yes. Okay? Alright. He's gonna be the, the new one of the assistant coaches at West Point starting in a couple of weeks. Army, West Point. Okay? You go to West Point, you do something special. Okay? This guy's gonna be a coach there. All American. He was also fourth. Fourth in the uh, World, world Team Trials. <coughs> he has Olympic aspirations. He's at the weight class uh, lighter than Steven. 121, 55 kilos, okay? 132, which is 60. Do right. you have questions about anything, you can ask these guys too. Hey, should I, should I smoke this cigarette? Ask him, he'll tell you. <laughs> right? Hey, whoa, should I beat up an old lady and take her purse? <laughs> he'll tell you. Right? All these guys. All right. A lot of new faces here. Thank you. If you hadn't been here before, it's not an easy thing. The guys that came here by yourself that didn't know anybody, good job. It's not easy to do that. It's not easy to go somewhere. No teammates. Where's the guy from Bay? Where are you at? Where's your name, brother? Huh? Oh. It's not easy. Okay? I did it when I was your age. It's hard. Tough thing to do. You guys that came as a team. Great job. Great job. Pick each other up. And 12 guys here from St. Mary's, I think at least 12, and 18 from Trinity. Great job, man. Make sure you thank your parents. Somebody paid for the camp. Maybe you mowed grass, maybe you shoveled uh, snow. I don't know what you did, all right? Maybe somebody helped you out. Don't forget to thank them. And we talked about this quite a bit. We talked about doing thank you versus saying thank you. Saying thank you is polite. Okay? Doing thank you means more. You get home, the grass is lava. Maybe you mow it. You know how to run a mower. Okay? If you don't know how to run a mower, don't run a mower. Okay? Cut the grass, man. Help out without being asked to do it. I know that's kind of neat. Alright, bring it in. Pride on three. Oh, my God. Can you One, two, 